up. So we're going to start by getting in your hoop. So if you need to hold on to something or lean against something. We're going to get in the hoop. And we're going to have it just above the ankles. Okay, have we already got that? So standing up nice and tall, straight. Think about that neutral spine. So rocking the pelvis back and forward. And then find the tension around your waist and the tension in the pelvic floor. So just hold that soft tension and focus on your breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Big deep breaths. So let's just warm up at the neck first. Take your head from side to side. Take it round. Looking over your shoulder. Gently, gently. Come back to the centre and then carefully lift your head and tuck it down. So just going back as far as feels comfortable for your neck and then take it down. Lovely stretch and stretch. And come back to the center. Well done. Let's warm the arms. So we're going to start by rolling our shoulders back. Roll them round. Sliding the shoulders down your back. Lovely job. And then let's take it into the elbow. So lift your elbows up and round. Elbows up and round. That's it. And then let's take the whole arm. Work those shoulders, take it up and round. Very good. Okay, we're going to do a little squat now. So we're going to come out to the side and I want you to push into that band. When you come back, make sure you've still got that tension. Otherwise, you're going to spend the whole time picking that band up off the floor. Okay, so just push it down and back. So don't close the legs together. We're going to lose your little band down onto the ankles. Push it down. Push it down. Push it to the side. Two more. Then let's go to the other side. Push it down. Push it down. Take it down. So just warming up those legs. Try and keep your knees facing forward. Push it down. Two more. Now we're going to go one each way. So take it down, back, down and back. Push it out, take it back. Push it out, push it out. Last one. And back to the centre. Well done. Let's just work our balance. So I'll come sideways so you can see. So from here... We're going to stretch one leg out and take the arms forward. So you're pushing into your band as you stretch behind you. Stretch it. Very good. Stretch. Stretch. Now on the next one, we're going to stretch. And balance, take it as far as you can. And then slowly come back up. Mine wasn't very slow. Take it down, stretch it up. Stretch it. Lovely. And then slowly, slowly come back up. Very good. Okay, we're going to come down onto our mats now. Ooh. 
So we're gonna do some push-ups. So we're gonna come down three times. I'm gonna do three push-ups each time. So big deep breath in. As you exhale, tuck your chin down, keep your feet slightly apart so you still work into that band. Come forward, knees down if you need to, head forward, and we'll do one, two, three push-ups. Tuck the toes under, slowly, slowly come back, and stretch back up. Okay, we can do that two more times. Big deep breath. Exhale as you roll down. Coming forward. Knees down if you wish. Three push-ups. Come back up. Okay, so now we're lying down on our mat. You've still got your feet into your band, yeah? Very good. Let's come down onto the mat. We're gonna do our swan dive. So just take your feet slightly apart. Big deep breath in. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you come down. Lifting up and take it down. Now this time we're going to go up and as we come down we're going to lift one leg into the band and take it back up. That's it, good job. So take it down, so you're pushing to the floor with one leg, lifting up into the band with the other leg. Very good, keep going. Lifting up and down. Lift up and down. Last one. And rest it down, well done. Relax the legs, take the arms down by your side. Let's do the dart. Palms to the ceiling. Inhale to prepare. Exhale as you lift up. Inhale as you come down. Squeezing the shoulders together, take it down. Your face is looking down, your neck is nice and long, and you're pushing away with the top of your head, let me say. Good job. Squeeze those shoulders together. So feel your shoulders actually pulling back as you lift up. I'm going to slide those shoulder blades together and down your back. Lifting up, stretch it up, good job. And last one, and take it down. And you're swimming, so we're going to bring the arms out nice and long. And we're going to lift the opposite arm and leg. So your leg is going to push into the band as you lift it up. Lift it up and stretch it. Lift and stretch. Lift and stretch. That's it. Reaching away through the body. Stretching long. Reaching away. Very good. So working, adding resistance and stretching away. Very good, well done. Okay, we're gonna do one leg kick. So from here, just slide your feet out of the band, hop it to the side, come up onto your elbows, tilt your pelvis, and we're gonna point and flex and point. So 
So keep this pelvis and push forward. So your lower belly is lifted off the mat. Point, flex, and point. Point, flex, point. Point, flex, point. Last one. Great job. And then let's pop up on hands and knees. Just going to stretch that back out. Get the breath in. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone under. Arch that back. Let your head drop down. And then tilt. And bring your head back up. Push it up. And take it down. Push up. Down one more. And take it down. Very good. Okay, we're going to come round on our side now. So we're going to use the band again. So we're going to pop it around, around the ankles and come round on your side. So find that long straight line and feel that you've got the waist lifted underneath you. We're going to start by lifting this top leg. So we're going to point it up and flex it down. Point up, flex down. And make sure as you lift your leg that there's no change in the pressure underneath your waist. Point up, flex down. Just coming as far as you can using your band. Point up, flex down. Last one like this. Now we're going to change the foot movement. Flex up and point down. Flex up, point down. Push it up, point it down. Push up, point down. Very good. Two more. Last one. And rest it down. Okay, now we can do the little forwards and backwards movement. So we're going to lift the top leg up just to hip height. Underneath leg just off the floor. And we're going to take that top leg forwards and backwards. So you're just pushing into the band as you go forwards and backwards. So you feel it working right down the side of your leg. Let me see. Very good. So the underneath leg is just off the floor and staying perfectly still. And you're taking that top leg forwards and backwards. Don't rush it. It's a slow controlled movement. That's lovely. Okay, now let's do sideways scissors. So we're going to use both legs and we're going to go forwards and back. Forwards and back. Forwards and back. Push it. So you're working into that resistance. Push it away. Last one. And take it down. Well done. We're going to do the clam. So we're going to put it up above your knees. Sorry, can't see mine very well, can you? Black band on black trousers. So you can either stay down here or you can come up onto your elbow, which I'm going to do because it'll be a bit cooler today. So you've got to lift your ribs right up, feet together, and we're going to push the knee up into the band and take it down. Now, obviously, if it's not comfortable with the band, please just take it off and do it without. Push it up and take it down. Looking good. So if you're up on your elbow, make sure you keep those ribs lifted. So we're not slouching here, eating our grapes. We're pulled up and working around the waist. Lovely job. 
bunch of grapes, cool grapes would go down really well right now. <laughs> Push it up. Okay, now we're going to change it slightly. We're going to lift the leg. Lift it up. And just make sure that as you're lifting, you're not dropping here. So you're still pulling the waist up as you lift that leg. Lift it up. And lift it. And four. Three. Two. And one. Rest it down. Well done. Let's do our chalk circle. So we're going to keep the knees glued together. Make sure you've got some space. Hold your head underneath. Knees glued down. We're going to reach up and stretch it round. Opening the shoulder. Take it round. Big stretch. Reach it open. Last one. And then we'll come up to the side. Let's slide the band off, give the legs a bit of a break. And we're going to do our mermaid stretches with leg extension. So coming over to the side. So we can take it here and then remember you've got the option of just doing this or you can take one leg out or you can take both legs out and then pull it back in. So either one leg, two legs or no legs. And either way you're just getting that lovely stretch. Very good. One last one. And bring it up and stretch it over. Beautiful. Very good. Okay, let's sit up nice and tall and straight. And we're going to do the flamingo. So this is a piece of an exercise that comes from the equipment repertoire, but we're going to do it on the mat. So facing me, we're going to just take the legs to one side. And I want you to start with your left leg. Put your hands on your left leg. You want to know which one that is? Great. So I'm using my right leg. So what we're going to do to start off with is grab hold of your leg wherever you can reach. Big breath in. And as you exhale, we're taking that leg up and we're straightening it just as much as you can. And as you come up, try and go from a rounded spine into a nice straight spine. So you're tucking the tailbone under and you should feel a lovely stretch down here. Tuck it down, big deep breath. Exhale as you come up, stretching up. Inhale as you go down. Stretch it up and take it down. Now you can carry on doing that or you can do the rotation so this time you're going to let go and look behind you and then tuck it back in. Reach up and stretch. That looks fabulous. Well done. Stretch it out. Reach and stretch. Now if you want to take it to the strength level, you're still stretching this leg up and then we're going to lift this underneath leg up. So if that doesn't work for you, carry on with the twisting or just the stretching. Very good. So using your core muscles to lift that leg up. Lovely job. Two more. And lower it down. Okay, let's swing round to the other side. So we're going to be working with the other leg this time. So big deep breath. And as you exhale, lift up, stretching that leg, stretching your back, and then tuck it down. Big breath. Up and stretch and tuck it down. Just trying to get that leg as straight as you can. 
And then those of you that like to do the twist, we're going to rotate the spine, lifting and stretching. So make sure as you're twisting, you're still lengthening through the spine as you turn and look. Very good. Take it up and round. And then if you want to do the lift, lift with your hand if you're a bit hot and slippy, bring that leg up. Lift it up. Three more. And take it down. Well done. And then just release your hands. Release your wrists. And now we're going to go back on the other side Whoop. to adjust the towel. We're going to come down on the other side now. So band back around your ankles. I thought I'd use a towel on my mat today, so I didn't stick to the mat. Now I'm sticking to the towel. So let's come around on your side. Nice long straight line. Cool. Pulling in at the waist. We're going to lift this top leg. So point up, flex down. Stretching away from you. Point the toes, flex the foot. Push it away. Point and flex. Very good. Last one like this. Then we're going to change the foot. So we're going to flex up. And point down, flex up, point down, pushing into that band, so using that resistance to help develop the strength, push it up, take it down, try and make it as smooth as you can, two more, Very good. Then lifting the top leg up to hip height, underneath leg just off the floor. We're coming forwards and backwards. Underneath leg staying really still. If you wish, arm in the air. Just taking that top leg forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards, that's it. Lovely job, feel it working right through the thigh. And now let's do the scissors, so both legs, forwards and back. Stretching, stretching into that band. Work it, forwards and back, stretch it, that's it. Lovely. Forwards and back. Very good. And rest it down. Well done. We're going to slide the band up just above the knees, ready for the clam. You know your options. You can either stay lying down on the mat, or if you prefer, you can come up on your elbow. If you're on your elbow, make sure you're lifting that waist right up. No slouchy. And then we'll push that knee up and take it down. Push it up. Oh, I've got a fan right here. It's lovely. Push it up. Keep the waist lifted. Pushing that knee up. And then let's lift the whole leg. So you're lifting the leg, keeping it bent. You're making sure that your waist isn't moving. Lifting up to the side. Push it up. And push it up. Four more. Three. Two. Ah, uh, one. And rest it down. Let's do our chalk circle on this side. The knees forward. Neck supported. 
reach it up and stretch it round. Opening your shoulders, you're trying to keep your hand on the floor as long as you can. But obviously a bit tricky if you're limited with space. That's it, stretch around. So if you're in the garden, <laughs> keep the knees forward, stretch it around. Last one. And then come up to the side. Let's slide the band off. Keep it handy because we'll need it again soon. And then we're going to come up and over. And then remember your options. No legs, one leg or two legs. So you're going to take it down and stretch and come up with control. No matter which option you do, just make sure whichever one you're doing is neat and controlled. Up and over. Last one. Stretch it up and across. Beautiful. Okay, let's come round on our back then. So come down onto your mat. And let's start by finding that set up position. So feet flat on the floor. Find that soft curve in your spine. Neck nice and long and deep breaths, deep and wide into your ribs. Okay, so we're gonna start with some ab curls. So let's just pop the hands behind the head. Neck nice and long. Inhale to prepare and exhale as you lift up and take it down. Lift it up. Lift it up. Very good. Keep the elbows back. Neck nice and relaxed. One more like this. Now we're going to turn this into an oblique lift. So we're going to come up and take the shoulder across the body. Keeping the elbow back, we're coming up and over. Up and over. Lift it up. Four more, and three, and two, and one. Very good. Okay, let's do one leg stretch. So you're going to bring one knee into your chest, stretch the other leg away, and then switch and change. And we can either do this with the head rested down or with the head curled up. Whatever works best for you today. Stretch that leg away. Very good. Working right to your toes. Stretch it away. Last one each side. Bring the knees and take it down. Just release your neck. Okay, now we're going to turn that into a crisscross. So hands behind your head. Bring one knee in, knee in and stretch the other leg away. Lift up and over. And then we're going to switch and change. Switch and change. Up and across. Up and across. Lengthening through the foot. Lift it up. Lift it up. Up and over, up and over, lift it up, and four, three, two, and one, and take it down, 
and stretch it out. Well done, lovely job. Okay, we're going to do some one leg circles and we're going to use the little hoop band to help us. So just pop the hoop band round your foot, just round one foot. You don't need to grip it too hard. But all we're going to do is to take the leg out to the side and then use the band to help you steer it down across the body and then pull it in towards you. Take it down and round. So we want to do eight circles in this direction, eight in the other direction. Take it round. Are you ready? Take it back the other way. Really using that band, pull it in towards you to get that lovely stretch down the back of the leg. Work it round. Lovely job. Couple more circles. And then hold the leg in here and just gently pull it in. So you're pushing your tailbone to the floor, so it won't come in too much, but you're going to get that lovely stretch right down the back of your leg. Big deep breath. Work with that stretch. And gently release it. Let's pop the other leg in, take the first one out. And then we're ready to go again. So take the leg out to the side, down, steer it across your body and pull it in towards you. And making the biggest circle you can in the space that you've got. Work it round. Really try and pull the leg in towards you. Work it around. Let's do one more this way. And then we're going to change it and change direction. Still pulling the leg in towards you and coming across the body. Two more. And then hold it here and again, pull it in. Feel that stretch right down the back of the leg. Pull it right in, or oh, stretch it out. Feels good. Beauty about the warm weather, and I think this is now officially the hottest day of the year, is it's great for stretching. Very good. Okay, now let's put both feet into the band, and we're gonna come up. Very good. Let's start with a half roll back. So sitting up tall and straight, Big deep breath in, exhale as you tilt your pelvis, take it back, pull up and stretch up tall and straight. Tuck it under, come up and stretch it. On that lovely straight back, reaching the head up to the ceiling. Very good. Okay, now we do a little bit of rolling like a ball. If you don't fancy rolling like a ball, then just do some more of those half rollbacks. So we're going to tuck your knees into your chest, take your head down, and we're going to roll it back and come up and stop. Let's try and stop before your feet touch the floor. Very good. Okay, now we're just going to add our teaser into that. So we're going to roll back. We're going to stop at the top and we're going to stretch the arms and legs. And you're trying to get your toes and your nose about the same height. Tuck it back in and roll back again. So you're trying to stop at the top, pull those core muscles in, stretch the arms and legs, tuck it back in and go again. Let me see. Very good, lovely straight arms. 
Get those arms as straight as you can, stretch the legs away. And think nose and toes at the same height. Two more. Last one. And hold it there. Hold it. Hold it. Stretch it. Stretch it. And relax. Very good. Let's slide the band up. <coughs> Excuse me. That's just above your knees. So we're going to do our coordination exercise, but we're just adding a little bit of resistance to it. So roll down onto your mat. Hands up to the ceiling. And then bringing your legs up into tabletop position. And then from here, we're going to stretch the opposite arm and leg away and take it back. So we're just making it a little bit more challenging by adding that resistance. Stretch it away. Lengthening away. Stretch it long. Feel those abdominal muscles working? I'll take that as a yes. Stretch it away. Lengthen away. Two more. And carefully lower it down. Very good. Okay, we're going to do the bridge. So we've still got the band around our knees. Find that set up position. Nice soft curve in your back. Big deep breath in. Exhale as you flatten your back to the floor. Squeeze the glutes. And slowly lift up. Inhale at the top. Exhale as you roll down one vertebrae at a time, coming back to neutral. And go again. Slowly making your way up and down, squeezing the glutes at the top of the move, gently taking it down. Working through your back, feel your vertebrae, each one touching the floor. Last one. And take it down, very good. Take the arms out to your side, bring your feet and knees together. Let's do our supine leg twist. So as you inhale, we're going to push the knees to one side, take the head into the opposite direction. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly pull your ribs, pull your waist, pull your hips, and then let your legs come back. And go to the other side. Pushing from one side to the other. Work it over. Slowly pull it back. And we push it across, get that lovely stretch. Last one each side. Push it over. And come back to centre. Hug your knees into your chest, slide your band off. Hug your knees in. Right in, roll it round and release any tension in that lower back. And the other way, work it round. 
and then stretch your feet away, stretch your arms away, and stretch through the body. Bring your arms down by your sides. And let's finish with a few minutes of relaxation. Just let your body recover. Let's start with some big deep breaths. Fill the lungs full of oxygen. And exhale deeply, getting rid of any stale air. Big deep breaths. Big breath. Let your feet relax. Release any tension around the toes and through the ankles. Let your shins and calves relax. Let your knees be soft. Thighs relax. Hips be soft and open. Let your deep abdominal muscles relax. Filling them with oxygen. Let them relax and recover. Very deep breath. Your neck and shoulders be soft. Your hands and arms just relax. And let your face be soft. Focus on those big deep breaths. Letting everything relax and recover. Big deep breaths. Actually, let your awareness come back to your feet. Let your awareness come back into your legs, into your torso, your hands and arms. And very slowly, take, your, take it easy, nice and slowly, make your way back up to sitting. Well done, everybody, good work. Let's take some big deep breaths. We're going to breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. One more. 